Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Hustler to probably the largest puzzle haul I've done on my channel. I just got back from the International Jigsaw Puzzle Convention and I was expecting to get some new puzzles and I got a lot of puzzles. So to be honest, I'm a little overwhelmed with how many are new to my collection. Um, some of these I purchased, some of these I was gifted, and some of these I did win or it was part of some contest. So I did not purchase all these puzzles. I actually went into the convention with a budget and I actually only spent about 60%. So I, apparently I could have bought more puzzles, but I have plenty. My trunk was completely full and I'm excited to show you all the new things. There are a ton of different brands, ton of different sizes and styles and I try to branch out of my comfort zone and try a whole bunch of different things and I'm excited about this. If you're interested in learning more about the convention itself or the 54,000 piece ultimate challenge go ahead and watch that video because it kind of gives you all the insight of what was going on but this is all the stuff that I got and I just need to get started. This is going to be a long one. Um, make sure you have a beverage of some sort, maybe a snack. And if you are new here, I would love if you subscribed and joined our little family here. It's been so much fun creating content for you. And as you can see, I have a lot of content to come and a lot of puzzling to do. So if you are a puzzle lover or if you like vlogs or if you are just wanting a new hobby, just feel free to stick around. So let's just get into this. I honestly, I don't even know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed right now. Let's start off with this pile here just because it gives me some space to like move the other puzzles to the other side as I'm going through them. So the first two things I have are actually gifts from a subscriber. Um, I'm so excited about these. I love that my subscribers know my style um, and I was able to meet quite a few of you at the convention which was really cool and really nerve-wracking for me. Um, I'm such an introvert so I'm sorry if I was like really awkward but I got two puzzles from her and it was super lovely and I love both of them. Uh, this one is a mini puzzle because she knows that I love mini puzzles and this one is fried chicken jigsaw. It's a hundred pieces. It's in like this little mini KFC container and that's just like super cute. Um, I'm guessing the jigsaw is the chicken that's on there. I don't know if you can see. And the other puzzle she gave me was a thousand piece Ravensburger and this one is called wine labels oh my gosh she knows me <laughs> um so it's just a bunch of wine labels which oh my gosh this is awesome as you guys know i am a wine lover and there is that one up close i love this so much when she gave it to me before i didn't realize it was wine labels i was just like really excited about the collage puzzle but this is awesome i absolutely love it i also got some puzzles from the brand Flink. They were giving out these free guys here. Um, they are available on Amazon right now. I don't think they're distributed anywhere else. Um, but we have three mini puzzles. Uh, hopefully you can see them. We have one that's like an astronaut guy. We have the Capitol building or something in London. I don't really know. And then we do have I'm thinking it's trolls. <laughs> I think it's like a, some type of troll right there. Um, so these look super cute, nice and small and compact for travel. I like that they're super like flat, which is awesome. Cause they really, all three of them, don't take any space at all, which is really cool. Now let's move on to this stack here, which is all antelope puzzles. I will be doing a whole separate video on them. I learned so much about the brand in each puzzle that they gave me. Um, these were gifted to me by the brand, which I was over the moon with. Um, they told me all about the brand, the backstory, each puzzle, different things about the brand and I learned so much. It looks definitely a cool company. I'm excited to be working with them and I'm excited to show you these puzzles. They have a ton of different collections and styles. They are a new company. They're only about a year old and they really are wanting to create a good product. So they said, say the good, bad, ugly, any type of critique they will accept and try to improve their product, which is the type of brand that I love to work with. So I'm excited to show you the puzzles, but I won't go too much into detail about these since I will be doing a whole separate dedicated video on antelope. So the first one is called Symphony of Peace 
and it is a hopefully you can see it okay I think that works out pretty well um, but super bright kind of busy um, but it looks super cool it is by a Chinese artist and I like the image it's definitely really it looks tricky to be honest I'm a little nervous about this one um, but it is really beautiful and he really wanted to showcase the artist that they use because um, he's really famous in China and then the next one is really I think is really fun and I love puzzles with words on it so I feel like I'm gonna like this one it's part of their Van Gogh cartoon collection and this one is called unknown popular so here is that one it's just a whole bunch of time magazines with Van Gogh on it and apparently those are all actual Time magazine covers that they've used over the years. Um, next we have this one which is called Whisper of Cactus by Lynn Whelan and this is the first ever puzzle that they created which I love. I love this image a lot. I love things with cactuses. I live in like that type of area um, but I love the blooms. Super bright and colorful. This is definitely the one that's probably most my style and I'm really excited about this one. This one is a thousand pieces. Um, we also have one from the Lin Wang collection and this one kind of reminds me of that um, that Cuban puzzle that I did and this one's called Amsterdam Weekend and I love the bright colors of this one super bright bold buildings and I love this one a lot I think this one and this one are probably my two favorites out of the bunch um, just because I can see that being like definitely something that's up my alley you know um, this one I'm also really curious about this is one of their 500 piece ones this is also part of the Lin Wang collection and it's a bunch of butterflies it's called eternal butterflies of the spotless mind oh I get it okay um, but this one is like a poster style almost of just a bunch of different butterflies. Love the colors of this one. And then they do have a whole fine arts collection, which isn't normally my style, but I do like this one. Um, I don't know if I'll get demonetized if I show it because it does have a little bit of nudity because it is a painting. So I'll just cover the lady, but it is this one here. Uh, it's called the Birth of Venus, which you guys know what that image looks like, but they said that they can't actually feature this one on Amazon because of the nudity so I didn't want to get demonetized because of this one but there you go there's that one which I think is beautiful and they have a ton of other puzzles to choose from again a whole separate video will be coming I just want to show you the puzzles that they gave me and I'm very excited about this brand I feel like I'm gonna say excited like a thousand times in this video because I really am like there's so many good ones I mean obviously I picked them out for a reason the first two on top are from the competitions that I was in I did not do singles but I did do pairs and teams um, I ended up getting fourth in pairs and then we did fifth in teams which I wasn't expecting to win anything but that was pretty cool that we placed this one here is the 500 piece from Aduka which I've heard it pronounced a bunch of different ways but the the way that they're pronouncing it from those who were in Europe um, is Educa. So this one here was the puzzle we did for the pairs challenge and which is why it's out of its cellophane because it is the one that we did and completed. It's called Antique Library. I will say the two that I did, I like the, the thickness of the pieces and like the piece quality seems really nice. I, in the 500 and the 1000 piece that I did, there I didn't see a lot of false fits, but I did notice that in the singles challenge they had a lot of issues with false fits. So just wanted to mention that, but I do have quite a few here from that brand. So we'll see how it is based on the piece count, but this one I think was beautiful and I loved it and it was really fun to compete. That was definitely a first for me and I had so much fun. I was just there for the experience but it was cool that I I guess won or placed or whatever you want to call it uh, and then for the teams challenge we placed fifth and this is the thousand piece from the same brand and it's called uh, let's see tropical parrots and this one is beautiful like I love how bright this one is it's absolutely stunning um, this one we did not complete um, only the team that won first actually completed within the two hour challenge um, and then they based off the other ranking on the amount of pieces that were left so we ended up placing fifth but I was just having fun and it was a good time next we have a puzzle from Grafica which is the same brand that did the giant 54,000 piece it is a French company and I didn't really vibe with a lot of their style they're very much a artsy 
um, fine arts collection type. And so this is part of their art collection. So I ended up getting this one, which is of New York, I'm assuming. Because we have like New York City over here with a Statue of Liberty and then like this river. I'm excited to see the brand in a smaller piece count versus the giant one that we are doing. Um, but again, I do think that this brand in general, I don't really vibe with a lot of their graphics, but if you are really into fine art, they have a lot of options. Um, they also are the same brand as Bluebird. Apparently they're the same exact company. Um, and I did actually really like a lot of the Bluebird puzzles. So I think out of the two, I'd probably veer towards them because I did end up getting two from the, the brand. What I like about them is that even up to their 2000 piece count, they're pretty much the same size box. They might be a little bit thicker, but they're weighty. So I like that they don't kind of make me make these giant boxes. It takes up less space and I don't have too much space for storage at this point. Um, so so this one here is by Bluebird. It's called The Sea of Sada. And this one is really cool. I like the image a lot. It has like this ocean style scene or like a sea, but it's cartoonish. And I just really like the colors of this one. Um, I do feel like this section here is going to be pretty tricky with all that white, but I feel like I'm really used to doing large sections of white at this point. So we'll see how it goes. It might not be too bad. Um, and I'm not sure how the quality is from Bluebird to Grafica, the same exact thing. I really like the piece quality. We had some issues with false fits with the larger puzzle, but I'm not sure if we noticed it as much in a smaller piece count. Um, the other bluebird that I got is this one, which I think is really cool looking. It is called Zodiac Montage, and I really like this style a lot. Um, so it is the Zodiac signs in like a galaxy type style, which I normally don't do this type of thing. It's definitely unique in my collection, um, but I really like the colors of this one, and it wasn't too cartoonish. I feel like there was a lot of other Zodiac ones that were there, but this one is more, I guess, realistic, um, which I liked. So I'm excited about both of those from that brand. Um, to be honest, the Grafica one, I was just like trying to find something that I would like from that brand, and again, not too much I vibed with. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited for those. I don't know when I'm doing any of these puzzles, by the way. Um, I just have a lot a lot to choose from now. Um, next we have another one from Aduka, which is the same one who did the challenges. So I have experienced the brand before. This one is a circular puzzle, which I'm not sure of the name of it. It's called Rainbow. I think that's all it's called is Rainbow, which is fitting. It is a gradient rainbow that is a circular puzzle. And it looks super bright and colorful. I have done something very similar before, but it went really, really dark towards the center. So I kind of like that it still stays bright because I think that's going to be a lot more doable. And the other one that I've done that is similar to this one didn't have the best of pieces. So I'm excited to try this one. I think it's going to photograph beautifully and it's 800 pieces, which I think is very doable. And then we have a thousand piece one from the brand Detoys, which I've never experienced before. Um, I'm not even sure where they're based out of, out of Romania. So that's cool. They have, I have quite a few brands now to mix in with my Around the World series. Um, and this one is really cool. I like it. I, oh, I just noticed that on the back they have another one from the same collection. I think I would have preferred that one, but this one is really fun. Look how that, they're just like two lovebird owls. I don't know what this one's called. Let's see. I'm guessing this one is called Owl Tales. But the rest of the information on the box is not in English. So I'm going to say it's called Owl Tales, but there are two in the collection, so I'm not sure which one of those tales it is. Um, but I do like it. Look how pretty this one is. I like the, the coloring of this. I'm not sure. I'm sure the hardest part is going to be like a lot of this red here. But I think there's enough like feathers that it's not going to be too tricky. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that one is, but I'm excited to try that brand. And then we did get another Schmidt puzzle, which apparently when it comes to Schmidt, I really like their fantasy scenes. Um, you guys know I did purchase that 2000 piece one and this one is a thousand pieces, almost with the same vibe where it's very like fantasy. And I love this one. I love the image of this one. Um, I haven't tried the branch yet, but I've heard of fantastic things. It is called City in the Sky 
And look at the colors of this one. I love it. I love this one so much. Um, I saw this one, they had it like up on display and I was like, that's mine. It's going in my box. Oh my gosh. It is so pretty. I love the rainbow. I love the scenery. I love the castle. Like everything about this one, I am so excited to do. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to do this one or the 2000 piece. Like they're both such great images and I think a lot of their images that were there I like struggled to only pick one I didn't want to buy too many of this brand because I knew I already had one and I was trying to like branch out and try new things but I like a lot from this brand one brand that's been recommended to me quite a few times especially for my around the world series is Falcon because they are a British brand and I feel like I've never really vibed with a lot of their images and all the ones that were there I'm also like it's not quite my style it's very like I don't know, a children's book? I feel like that's how I would have to describe it. Almost like a Peter Cottontail style. And that's how most of their images are. And you can find some of them on Amazon or on their website. Um, I'm excited to find one in person just to see it. So this one's called Woodland Wildlife. And it definitely has like Bambi vibes. Bambi, Peter Cottontail, that style. Um, super cute. And I love the illustration. You can definitely see it's more like colored pencil work. And it's beautiful. It's just, I'm not, and I feel like this one would photograph well. I, it's cute. It's pretty. I like it. I don't think I would get a ton from that brand, just from their style, but I'm excited to try it and see how it is. Um, next, I'm excited for this one. This is a 2000 piece. I am proud of me. I ventured out into larger piece counts. This is a 2000 piece from Ravensburger. And this one, it was really cool because it is one that we saw at the artist. Um, she actually was signing our boxes, which was really cool. And it's called, it's called Dragon Valley. And this one has been retired, um, but you can probably still find it on Amazon and such. But mine is out of the wrapping a little bit because she did sign it. The artist was, the artist is Rose Khan. And look at this beautiful fantasy scene. Again, not quite my style, but I like the colors in it. And when I was listening to her talk about it, she says that she tries to give like a little bit of a clue in every single piece. Like she'll zoom in super close when she's doing her art just to make sure there's like something that makes that piece unique so you're never going to get lost, which I appreciate because something like this isn't, again, quite my style. But I think I, it is very doable and I like the colors. Um, she also explained her whole process. You get to see like the early works before this one even came about. Um, little critiques that the little critiques that Ravensburger has suggested. Um, I also learned a ton about licensing from her, which was really interesting to learn because an artist can be licensed with a whole bunch of different brands and have different criteria for each brand which is really good to learn because you see the same image with a bunch of different companies you also see how the same image is called different names even if from the same company and just learning that process was really helpful um so that was really cool i'm excited to have this one it's definitely like a keepsake product and i'm excited so when i did the ultimate challenge they gave us puzzles based on the amount of time you worked on that puzzle so there were several that i did not pay for um, I think there was four that I was able to get for free. One was a Bluebird, one was the Graphica, there was this one, and then I forget the fourth. Um, but in general, there was four total that I did not pay for. And this one I don't think I would have gotten if I didn't have that like free option um, because it looks kind of crazy hard, but I think I'm going to love it. And I think it's a, another one that would like look beautiful at the end. This one is called World Landmarks Globe. And look at this color. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Um, so lots of blue and ocean, which kind of worries me. But there are different colors of blue, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff in the ocean that I don't think I'll be too stuck. <laughs> um, I love also that they include things up in the arch right up here. So they have like the sun and like things that are flying above the world, which I also really love. Like this is a beautiful image and I just think it's just the prettiest colors and I'm excited to try it. I'm hoping there's no fit issues with the 2000 piece um, but it looks super fun. I love it. Finally let's go over this last stack of puzzles which looking at I'm like 
there are so many good ones. Like I honestly, I don't know how to choose the first one to do. And I don't want to forget the other puzzles that I still already have, but I'm just excited. I'm looking at this one and I totally forgot that I got this. Um, and it's from Grafika. So I did actually have two that I was into. Uh, this one is really fun. I love the colors of this one. This is called, so I'm not going to try to pronounce this one, but here is what it looks like. Love the colors. It's just a bunch of fruit, more poster style. I feel like my mom or someone had a calendar that had like this type of image. Um, the, again, it's a French brand. Again, this brand I didn't have a ton that I was like into, but apparently there was two that I really wanted. So there's that one. Um, this is a brand I've never done before. It's from Casterland and I've heard great things. The box is super sturdy. There's a few that I was really into. Um, they had a ton of different options for piece count. This one I'm excited for. Look how cute this one is. Let me see what the name is. I don't know the name of it. I can't find it on the box. Oh, it's on the front. I am the llama and it's just, look how fun. Isn't he cute? He's just like a little Christmas llama. Or maybe it's just a llama with a scarf on, but it seems very Christmassy. He looks, looks super cute, and I like how the fur has a lot of texture to it, so it's not going to be super crazy hard, and there's a lot of different colors with the fur. I also like the different patterns around the edge, which I think is super cute. And he just looks super fun. I like him. Um, I just, yeah, I'm excited to try that brand, and that one looks super cute. Uh, this one I got because I'm just curious how this is going to go. Uh, this will have to be a whole separate video sometime down the future. It also includes an app that you need to use. And there's three different pairs of glasses. This is from the brand Karnofsky. It's called the Ocean Jigsaw Puzzle. And it has, uh, I'll show you the front, I guess. Um, but there's three different sets of glasses and you have to wear each glass and it only shows you the one set of colors. So there's a blue view, a green view, and a red view. And this just looks very interesting. Um, I'm curious how it will look as like a standalone image. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just really interested. Um, I think it would be super fun. And I feel like looking at each section, the one that looks the trickiest is probably the blue because it's all the same fish, but like the pink has a lot of different options, same with the yellow. So we'll give it a go. I just thought that was very interesting and I thought, why not? That sounds like a video. I got another Ravensburger that's circular and this one is called Fruits and Vegetables. Very original, um, but that's exactly what it is. It is Fruits and Vegetables in a Circular Puzzle. It is only 500 pieces. I feel like this one's going to be pretty easy. Um, I like Ravensburger as a brand, and I just think this one's really pretty. Um, it spoke to me. I got it, and that's how it ended up in this haul. Um, so not a huge story on that one other than I like the image. Um, this one, the next three are all brands that are new to me, or at least I haven't done yet. Um, this one is from the brand Heart Puzzles, which is another brand that someone had mentioned for me to do, but there's only one or two that I was into on the website and I didn't want to pay the shipping costs. So I did find them there. They had a few options and this one, as you will see, definitely screams out to me. It is called Wine Trail. It's a thousand pieces and here you go. It's just if you were to walk in like a vineyard and they had a sign of which direction the wine is, that is this puzzle. I just think it's super cute. I like that it's like collage-y um, and I like that there's a lot of words to it. I love puzzles that have a lot of words to it and I like wine. So I just felt like this was the one for me from this brand. So we'll try out puzzles with heart eventually. Um, I just know that that brand has a lot of good behind it, so I'm excited. Um, the next one is from the brand Nova, which honestly I hadn't even heard of until I went to the convention. And this is based in, this is a French brand, and it is called Soy Agassi. Don't know, but it's a bunch of little houses, like tree houses. Maybe that's what it actually translates to. But look at this one. I love the colors of this one. It just like super cute. And I like the style. Um, I just like how it's like radiant rainbow, but not really. And I like the houses. I just, this 
I don't know, spoke to me. I think it will be really fun. I'd like to try new brands. There we go. Um, we have a new Magnolia puzzle, which I have not done the other ones that I bought, purchased yet, but they had them there. Um, pretty overpriced at the convention, just saying, um, but I did pick this one out as one of the free ones that I was able to get. So I'm excited about this one. Um, it's called... It's called Audrey. It's a thousand pieces, and I love this one. This one may be the one I feature on my channel. It's just Audrey Hepburn as a cartoon. I love the big giant eyes and the pearl necklace, and it just looks super fun. I love this one so much. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this one. And then we have two more, and then we'll call it a day. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Um, the next one is from the brand Educa. Again, it's a thousand pieces. So I have a whole bunch of different piece counts for them. I have a 500, 800, 1000, and 2000. So we'll see how they are based on the piece count. But this one, you will see, is not my style. I am someone who normally doesn't do photographs, but I do like weirdly puzzles with bikes in them. Um, so this one has this. So this one is called Amsterdam. As you can see, it is a black and white puzzle except for the red bicycle. Um, I feel like the black and white might be tricky, but there's so many different textures, I don't think it will be. And I feel like I've had similar scenes to this that I have done before with no real issues, so I think I can do it. Um, I also just really like puzzles with bikes in them. I don't know what that is about, but I just really like this image. I think what it is, so I do photography, and I do like when I take a black and white photo, but then like highlight an area in color. I just love that style. So I think that's what brought me to this one. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be challenging, but I think it'll be a beautiful end result. And then finally, we have a puzzle that just reminded me of Dave. As you guys know, I have not seen him in over three weeks. I have, I think, four weeks left to go before I get to see him. And this one is from the brand Treffel, which is a Polish brand, and it's called Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh is Dave's favorite Disney character. And I just thought this one looked super sweet. It's like a collage style, scrapbook style um, puzzle. I like the different images. I like the different Winnie the Poohs, and it just reminded me of him, which is why I got it. Um, so that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have a lot of puzzling to do. I have a lot of organizing to do, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It just helps me out a lot. I've been really trying to puzzle a little bit more, create a little bit more content for you. And as you guys know, I'm doing my new weekend vlog. So I'm just excited to be here. I hope you are too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.